Hello there, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get the BARD API key for free. Uh, your first step is going to be to head over to bard.google.com slash chat. Over here, you're going to right click and inspect element. On the top right or on the right of your screen, you'll see your elements tab. And on the top right, you'll see these two arrows. You're going to click this to find more tabs and then hit application. Over here, you're going to locate cookies in the storage area. Now, if you click this secure one PSID, you click this and you should get your key displayed over here in this output area. What you're going to do is copy that. I'm not going to display my own key right now. After that, you're going to open a random Python editor. If you want to use this in your Python program, like the API key, you're going to find the Python editor. I'm using this Visual Studio code. Over here, first step is to create a .env file. You're going to, and then you're just going to type out the code, uh, bar API equals to, and then in here, you're going to type out your API key, let's say. Let's say this is our API key. You're going to save this as an .env file. And after that, you're going to write this code to exp the from BARD API import BARD. Uh, keep in mind, you do need the BARD uh, API downloaded for this. And then you're going to import OS from .en uh, from .env, not don't any env. I wrote that. I wrote that wrong. So you're going to import the OS from .env and import load underscore dot env after that is load dot env bracket over here and your token equals to os get env and then the name what you named your api key let's say i named it bard api over here you can just be simple and name it a or something or maybe s that's up to you and then you're going to replace this with the name uh, that you created in your with the value that you created in your dot env file and down here you're going to type out bard equals bard bracket token equals token close that bracket underscore is your result this is to see uh, your question basically you type out your question here and it will print your result so our result is bard dot get underscore answer and then our question over here is the current stock price of Tesla. And under that, we're going to print the result. So if you run this program and you've entered all the, uh, and you've entered all the information correctly, this should work. I'm not going to run it because I don't have the BARD API downloaded or the correct API key imported over here. Otherwise, that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.